In the previous video, I showed you how to find factors of a number using manipulatives. And we took all these fabulous guys, and we made different arrays with them, we counted the sides, and then we just listed all the different ways, all the different sides for the different arrays we could use for our number. Well, this time I'm going to teach you tricks for the first ten numbers to determine whether or not they are factors of any number. Systematically means we're going to start with 1 and we're going to finish at 10. Before we begin, remember definitions. A factor is a number that is multiplied by another factor and that equals a multiple. So this is a multiple. 2 and 6 are the factors. 1 might be the easiest of all ever since we learned multiplication. Every number has 1 as a factor, which means if you want to think of it in terms of algebra, x can be any number, and any number times 1 equals that same number. What does that mean? It looks like this. 42 is any number, multiplied by 1 is 42. 9 is a number, multiplied by 1 is 9. So no matter what I put in for x, if I multiply it by 1, I'm going to get that same number on the other side. Which, when we were building our arrays, was just a long array made up of that number of cubes in the total, in the, in the multiple. Now on to 2. Every even number has 2 as a factor. And that is if the last digit is even. It's the easiest way to think of it. Even if it's a big number, we're just going to focus on that last digit. If it's even, it has 2 as a factor. So, what are even numbers? 0, 2, 4, 6, and 8. So, 86 is even because 6 is even. 2 is even. 7 is odd, but it ends, 74 ends with an even digit, so 74 is even. It has a factor as of 2. 779,354, a very big number with 5 odd digits, ends in an even digit, so it is even, and it has 2 as a factor. Easy enough? Well, 3 gets a little tricky, but not too bad. First of all, whatever the number is, go ahead and add up all the digits. If the sum is a multiple of 3 then that number is also a multiple of 3, which means 3 is a factor. And here's what that looks like. 21. It's two digits are 2 and 1. If I add them up, their sum is 3. 3 is a multiple of 3, so 21 has 3 as one of its factors. Let's check some bigger numbers. 78. 7 plus 8 is 15. 15 is a multiple of 3. 8,562. Let's make an easy 10 here. 8 plus 2 is 10. 5 and 6 is 11. 11 plus 10 is 21. And 21 is a multiple of 3. So both 78 and 8,562 have 3 as one of its factors. For 4, if the last two digits are a multiple of 4, then 4, it has 4 as a factor or if the last two digits are 0, 0. For example, in 124, 24 is a multiple of 4. And you're just going to have to have those multiples of 4 memorized. So that means 124 is a multiple of 4. In this example, 0, 0 are not a multiple of 4 by itself, but if the number ends in 0, 0, like 300, well, 300 has 4 as one of its factors. Now we're back to an easy one, 5. If the last digit is greater than 0, because 0 is not a factor of 5, if it is greater than 0 and it is either 5 or 0 itself, that last digit, here they are, 5, 5, and 0, then all of these numbers have 5 as a factor, 35, 715, 90. 6 is a little complicated again, but not 2. If you can remember both tricks for 2, and 3, if they are true, then you know that 6 is going to be a factor of that number. So let's check the trick for 2 first. Is it an even number? If it is, it could be a multiple of 6. In order to be a multiple of 6, it then also, the two digits have to add up to a multiple of 3. And in this case, 78, it passes the 2 trick, it's even, and it passes the 3 trick, because 7 plus 8 is 15, and 15 is a multiple of 3. <gasps> so 6 is a factor of 78. 
For seven, there's no really easy tricks that I can tell you. All you're going to need to do is know your multiples of seven, and then beyond that, for bigger numbers, divide by seven. Whether you divide on paper or if your teacher allows you to use a calculator, that's going to be your easiest way to figure out if your number has seven as a factor. And it's pretty much the same rule for eight. Know your multiples of eight, divide by eight if you don't, but beyond that, for, bigger, for any number, it has to be even which isn't always true for seven. And the last three digits, if they end in zero, then your number is, has eight as a factor. For nine, it's pretty much the same rule of three, but we're gonna replace three with nine. If the sum of your digits of any number add up to nine, then nine is a factor of that number. So in this big number, 76,914, Let's find some easy tens again. 9 plus 1 is 10, 6 plus 4 is 10, 10 plus 10 is 20, and 20 plus 7 is 27. So 76,914 has 9 as one of its factors because 27 is a multiple of 9. And for our last trick, another one of the easy ones, 10. Again, it's got to be greater than zero for the same reason that we gave you for five. Zero is not a factor of ten. can't be multiplied by any number to give you ten. But any other number that ends in zero is a multiple of ten. So that means that ten is a factor of sixty, of eighty-nine thousand five hundred, and of nine hundred twenty.